Everybody wants to know, Prince Faza, is his heart broken? Is he happy? Or is there something that we don't know? So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I can't believe it myself. I can't believe that this fella isn't as happy as he could possibly be. I think that his world has turned out exactly uh, the way it should and the way it's supposed to be, but a lot of viewers want to know, is his heart broken? Is his true, has his true love escaped him? Or will they even be in his life? Or is he perfectly happy now? So that's what the cards will be about. I hope you enjoy uh, how they come out. I thought this would be a perfect uh, deck uh, to um, talk about uh, this issue with uh, Prince Faza. They're beautiful cards, they're wonderfully illustrated, and they're very much in touch with the earth. So let's have uh, a look at what's going on in his life with these cards. Uh, remember, uh, towards the end of the video, if you're interested in these cards, I'll tell you more about them so you can find out about that uh, there. The only thing I don't like about them is the way they come out of the box. You have to kind of dump them out and that doesn't seem very nice to me. But other than that, I mean, they're just beautiful cards to work with. Prince Faza. I mean, everyone is talking about him. Everybody wants to know what's going on for him. Is he happy? Is his life turning out the way he hoped it would or hopes that it will? Or is there something in the future that we don't know about that will, that will make a difference? Or is he perfectly fine with the way things are now? I think a lot of people want to know that. And uh, he has such a sensitive spirit, a sensitive soul that uh, he touches uh, everyone in some way or another. But before we do the reading, let's take just a moment of meditation. So Prince Faza, it's hard to think that this fellow wouldn't be as happy as he could possibly be. But, you know, into everyone's life, sometimes some sadness falls. And um, sometimes we realize that, listen, we have to uh, live the life that we've been given and make the best of it. And the other people have that little extra edge of privilege where they can make things happen that's going to be better for them or more to their liking. Um, there could be some element of that here for Prince Faza. So why don't we ask that the cards that. I'm going to do three questions and then a six card draw. And I'm just going to come up with the questions uh, as we go. So three cards. First I want to know here, is he truly happy or is his heart breaking? Okay, so one, two, and three. Prince Faza. Is he truly happy or is there some element, something uh, that's making him be, uh, making his heart break? The first card is look at that death. Now death is not death. Death is the end of a cycle. It's the end of something that's important to you, but then there's a new beginning coming up uh, after that. So very significant, and especially that we ask this question, is his heart breaking? Is there something that's in his uh, past that has uh, a lot of meaning to him and it's caused him great sadness? And we have death, the end of something. Could it be the end of a past love? Next card for the prince. The Princess of Wands. This is beautiful because wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and this princess who else could this be except one of his princesses? And she has an action. She has a plan. She's going to move things forward. This woman is determined. Look at how beautifully she's dressed and look at the determination she has in her stance right there. So there was an end. There's a princess uh, with a plan. And then the final card is right here. 
the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and the Ten of Wands is telling us that this is a heavy load. It's hard to bear. The road ahead is treacherous and dangerous and breaking him in some ways, but there's always hope. So uh, is, is his heart really broken? Well, there's been an end of something here. There's been a complete end to some sort of a cycle here. What's beautiful is that in the center, we have a princess with a plan to, I suppose, make him happy. But the one thing that can never leave you is that there's a hard road ahead. And whenever we have something that touches deeply, sometimes we have a very difficult time moving forward. So now let's ask the next question, another three cards. Uh, will Prince Faza find true, true happiness in his life? And will that happen soon? Will Prince Faza soon find true, true happiness in his heart? So will the Prince find true happiness in his heart? Three cards. One, two, and three. Will the Prince find true happiness in his heart. Okay. One card was very anxious to show itself, so I can't wait to see this. So will the prince find true happiness in his heart? Well, look at this. Again, wands, which are actions, plans, forward movement. And this is pointless arguing. Um, uh, disruption that doesn't have to be there. Okay, and that's what this card signifies. Um, a pointless um, a fight or a struggle that uh, isn't going to resolve really much of anything. The next card uh, for this issue, look at this, the Ace of Swords coming out of the water, victorious. Truth, justice, rules, law. That's what swords stand for. And this victorious sword is coming out and saying, I have truth, I have justice. I have rules and I have law, and these are all the things that I must abide by, and I will rise up and abide by those things. And then the final card for this is the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Swords is theft and betrayal. And we see here a wise man, again, now swords of truth, justice, rules, and law, but this wise man has written that something will, will be a certain way. He's decreed that this has to happen the way it's happening now. And these swords are standing up, they're propped up. Each truth is propped up by a rule or a justice or a truth or a law. Each one of these swords, and it just feels like betrayal. So it's sad uh, sometimes that we have to suffer, but understand that sometimes the suffering brings about something better than what came before. The last card I want to, uh, the last draw for three cards, I want to ask, is his true love in his vicinity? Is the Prince Faza's true love in his vicinity? Is the true love in his circle? Is his true love attainable in just three cards? And does he already have his true love? So three cards, Prince Faz, is his true love within his circle, attainable is his true love already there let's see what the cards have to say in that regard prince faz is his true love in his circle attainable look at this the seven of cups the seven of cups is just heartbreak it's um an illusion it's many things that you have to choose from. Cups are, are passion, emotion, uh, heartfelt situations. And this maiden is just staring down into the, the clear waters, looking at all the choices that have to be made here. And look, there's one cup that escapes her notice, and it's right here. The next one up is Justice. Beautiful card to get for the center of the reed because this is telling us that justice will prevail. So I'm going to say, we want to know if this person is within his circle. The last card is the chariot coming quickly. Things happening at a rapid pace and a major arcana card. Is this person within his circle? Look at this. She's so close, right there, almost able to reach out and grab it. And it's a real cup of compassion and emotion. Or there's the illusion 
of the compassion and the emotion right there in the reflection that, to choose from. But the fact is, is that justice will be the thing that rules the day. This justice will occur. And then the final card here is the chariot, is that it won't be a long wait. Justice is coming. Now we just do six cards on uh, the life of the prince and to see um, what they can tell us. So we'll just read the cards exactly how they come out and we'll see what this, these six cards can tell us about Prince Faza. Of course we're concentrating on his happiness, we're concentrating on his love, on his heart uh, felt situations, and that's what we want to know about. So Prince Faza's heart. That's what we want to know. And we're going to take six cards to tell us about that. So this is one, this is two. I feel like these cards need to be close together because for some reason um, it feels like there's closeness involved right here. How many cards did I pull? I've forgotten. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six cards right here. And I want to remind you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It helps me so much. And also, like I said before, if you want to know more about these cards, I'm going to tell you about them uh, at the end of this video. So you can find out more about this deck. Prince Faza, what can the cards let us know about his heart, his happiness, his future? The signifier card, look at that. This card is repeated. I love when the cards repeat because that tells me that the cards understand how I'm going to read this one. And I read this one as pointless uh, arguing, pointless um, distractions. So whatever is causing pain, if something is causing pain, it's pointless. And that's the signifier of this card, is this is hope, okay? The challenge to that is the fool. The fool is beautiful. This is the beginning of the journey. So the beginning of this journey, the person is stepping out. They have just what they need to take with them, okay? They have a consciousness warning them of any uh, pitfalls that may be ahead of them. And uh, they have hope uh, in their hand. And uh, so this is the fool. So the challenge to this pointless arguing is that this new journey is what's coming to uh, set this person off on their path. The basis of this reading then, look at this, is strength. And it's represented here by a beautiful woman really taming the beast. And this is a major arcana card. This is the number eight of the major arcana and it's strength and it's a feminine passionate strength. Look at that red dress. The past of this reading is right here, rebirth. This is beautiful because this is telling us that there's some, we had in the first drawing, we had death, which is the end of a cycle. And in that same position, but here in this major drawing, we have rebirth, which is something new. A new life is coming forward. Look, it's being heralded with a trumpet and it's ready and ready to step out into the world. So rebirth is in the past. That tells us that it's already planned. It's on the way. In the sky of this reading, we have the Three of Swords, which is the broken heart. And that's what we've been talking about, the, the heartfelt situations that is the, the, what the Three of Swords represent, a broken heart. Truth, justice, rules, and law just propped up. Look at the shape of this stone as in a heart right here, just waiting, waiting to be repaired. And then the final outcome for uh, what can the cards tell us about the future happiness and hopefulness of the prince. Look at that. This is finding that perfect balance. You can see this feminine energy is putting the, the, the potion together. She's deciding how much of this do I put into here to send out into the world to create this rainbow that you see created from this uh, mountaintop over here. The steam of this, of this elixir is flowing out through the window, ready to capture the heart of the intended. So yeah, I would say that everything is gonna happen exactly the way it has to for this prince, and he will be happy. He will be, have his, his pleasures, his happiness, his love fulfilled. And I think that's beautiful. Like I tell you all the time, what you see in the cards is very valid. So look into your heart, see if there's something in there that means more to you than what I've said, and uh, be, feel free to tell me in the comments uh, how you interpret the cards. Plus, let me know what you want me to read about, and I'll read about that. Hey, I'm gonna show you the cards now. So this is the Druid Craft Tarot, and uh, it's sort of uh, on the magic of uh, Wicca and uh, Druidity. 
or druidry, maybe that's the uh, per- correct uh, uh, terminology, uh, Philip and Stephanie Carr Gom, uh, with illustrations by Will Worthington. Really nice deck. Um, they're a little, um, the, car, the box is fantastic because you really feel like you got a nice quality uh, gift if you gave that. The guidebook is huge. And uh, the only thing I would say is that it's a shame it's not in full color, but it gives you some some useful uh, divination uh, for the cards in there. So I like that. The cards themselves, the one uh, gripe I have is that you have to dump them out of the box, which I'm not that happy about. But uh, the cards themselves, they're huge, so some people might find them a little awkward to use, but I like them. And uh, the divination that you get out of them is amazing. There's so much thought that went into each picture, every element of each picture. And um, so they're very useful in almost any uh, circumstance where you're going to use these. And I like to spread them out like this. Uh, if I'm doing a reading with someone, then I like to usually let them uh, spread them out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. It's a good way to mix them up without... You know damaging the cards too much uh, which is uh, always important to me so these cards are fantastic druidcraft tarot well coming back tomorrow i'll be doing it all again so ciao for now <laughs>